Hi guys, what we're making today is birch and muesli. So welcome back to all of our subscribers. Thanks for your great comments. And for those of you who haven't subscribed and would love updates to see some of the old recipes and the new ones to come, be sure to subscribe today. And you can always head to my blog, which is lifestyle.com.au. Let's get started. <music> You are going to need rolled oats. I'll tell you the measurements in just a moment, but for most of you who have watched before, you know that I'm never right on measurements because I really just want you to actually work with the food and look at the consistency and judge it. Go with your gut. So oats, we're going to need a measuring cup and some natural yogurt. Make sure that it is a natural yogurt. We're going to need any kind of orange juice, sultanas, we're also going to need some flaked almonds, which I absolutely love to cook with. Cinnamon ground for flavour. One green apple. We need some milk. You can use full cream milk if you like, but I'm always a fan of light milk. It's just what I do and it's how I do it. So I'll be using light milk. And if you want honey for flavour at the end, you can also have some honey. You'll also need a bowl and a spatula to mix everything with, possibly even a teaspoon to taste later on. I don't always tell you absolutely everything that you need, but you always are going to have it in your kitchen. So rest assured you will be fine. Let's get cooking. So here we go. We are going to do four and a half cups of our oats. This is so nice and again I love making any kind of recipe that gives you the option can you tell I'm concentrating it gives you the option to actually put it away or freeze it so that you can use it at another time Okay, oats are in. That's the reason why you need a decent sized bowl because of the consistency of everything that you're going to be using. I do the oats first, why? Because they're dry and then my measuring container is not all wet and my oats aren't going to stick. Then we're going to do one and a quarter cups of my natural yogurt, pouring that in. We just covered my measuring side. That's better. Couldn't see what I was doing. Not an expert, peeps. I like a tap. That's one and a quarter. You're not meant to lick during cooking, but hey, it's Kylie's kitchen. Do whatever you like. You can do whatever you like. Yeah. Gonna get every single little bit out. Okay. Let's wash that out with one and a quarter cups of orange juice. So we're going to do one and a quarter cups of orange juice. Yep. Gonna pour that in. We then have two cups of milk. Going to put in some sultanas as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this soak overnight in the fridge and you'll see the consistency change in the morning. And then we're going to add to it exactly the flavours that we would love to taste in our birch and muesli. And then we're going to do one cup, I like organic, organic sultanas. Might just mix this through a little bit just to make it a little easier. got a thing about birch and muesli. I don't know why, I just think it's so good and it's just such a yummy breakfast meal as well as a brunch meal. I think the kids would love birch and muesli as well. It's another way of getting fruit into their diet because you can add whatever fruits you want. If you want some dried apricots or fresh apricot, dried, dried apples, I put in fresh apple. Um, I love sultanas. I think sultanas in food, like a fruit bread, is just beautiful. 
If by chance you've been a bit slippery and put too many oats in and you feel like it's already um, a little too gluggy, maybe you just need to add a little more liquid. I'd probably choose the orange juice to just add a dab or two in. And again, like I said, it's all about watching what you do. Check out the consistency. So I'm gonna add one cup of sultanas. That looks good to me. In they go. I'm gonna spin this around. So simple. I'm gonna pop some glad wrap over the top. Let's soak in the fridge. And you'll be tempted to try it in the morning, let me tell you. So this is what it should look like. Can you see that consistency? Like I said, it's still got a bit of that watery consistency through it, not too much, but just enough so it's gonna set perfectly overnight. Let's pop it in the fridge. And we are back. Yesterday we put our birch and muesli concoction in the fridge to set overnight. So we will be getting that out in just a moment. But while we wait, we are going to prepare our apple. I use green apples for birch and muesli. I just prefer the flavor. So I'm just gonna peel off the skin. Can you tell I'm a really neat peeler? <laughs> this is one of my favorite peelers. I love that they invented it. Now, I think with this peeler though, it could be a little bit wide when it comes to the size of apple that you want in your birch and So I'd probably suggest maybe this peeler could be a little bit better. And if you're not a peeler, I'll show you another option. Great it, easier, quicker. And I think that this consistency is a lot better. Just depends on how you like your apple inside your birch and muesli. I personally prefer this. Just make sure you slow down as you get closer to the core because we don't want any rubber gloves in our birch and muesli. Now, some people do like a lot of the fruity flavor in their birch and muesli. So depending on what you're after, depends on how much apple you will put in. If you wanna put in another apple or maybe even another half an apple, you can do so. Just depends on if you modify the recipe. So we'll just pop that aside. We've also got our cinnamon ground ready to go. And I've got some flaked almonds. I think that that'll be just a beautiful flavor that we can add to the birch and muesli. And then we've got some honey to, um, to just drizzle over the top. So let's get started. Here we have it, our birch and muesli concoction that I've just gotten out of the fridge. So see how you can see that it's set, set more together. And obviously the oats have risen to the top a little bit because they have soaked in all of that moisture. So now we're going to add in our apple. Just gonna mix the apple through. And then, as, can you see that thicker consistency? Like it's a little bit harder for me to actually move it around. And that's what you want. If by any means you feel like you might have busted it the other way and maybe not put enough um, moisture in to start with. I say moisture because you added milk, you added um, another liquid which was the orange juice, you know, you've got the yogurt in there. So if you feel like it's a little bit too gluggy, you can always add a little bit more um, orange juice and sort of set it for another half an hour once you've added in your almond flakes. I've chosen half a cup. I think that'll be just enough. I just want a little bit of a nutty touch, but nothing too overwhelming. Kids do like simple flavors to start with. So if you have a kid that's not so adventurous, this is a great place to start for a birch and muesli, and then you can add more flavors as you go. Cinnamon ground, I think is super important. Cannot tell you one teaspoon, that's not my style. I just say go with your gut. So I've pretty much covered the top layer of the birch and muesli, sifting that through. And as I was saying before, it's all about the taste. You know, you do have to taste test your food. Of course, don't double dip <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you've got guests coming over. But if it's your kids and your family, ah, doesn't matter. So I am going to taste test, because as I said, I wanna make sure that my cinnamon ground was correct. A Little bit of almond, a little bit of sultana there. Mm. 
I can taste the orange juice coming through because we added a little bit more of that orange juice. And that was good. But I just want to make sure that I've got rid of that. How do you explain that flavour? I might just add just a little bit more just to make it a little, just a little sweeter. Sometimes it can have a bitter flavour and that really does depend on the kind of apple. I used a Granny Smith green apple. Sometimes it can just uh, taste a little bitter if the apple's just not perfect. And I think that you can counterbalance that with the cinnamon. Now remembering, if you are going to add honey, it is going to be sweeter again. So make sure you don't overdo the cinnamon ground because when you do go to serve it, you'll be adding a little bit more sweetness. So let's see what it tastes like with added honey. So there we have it, birch and muesli. And everyone knows that this is my favorite part of each and every recipe. Gloves off, we're gonna give it a go. What I have done is added just a sprinkling of cinnamon ground for the appearance, as well as some grated apple on the top and drizzled some honey over it because I just want to see if that's going to add even extra flavour. That honey is so sweet. It does add just the perfect touch. As I've always said, presentation is key. I hope you love it as much as we do and be sure to come back to Kylie's Kitchen for some more fun. every single spatula or um, <sighs> cut or you will be fine. Let's get cooking. quick. quick. <laughs> I'm not doing all of that again. I'm just going to say let's get cooking.